show you guys how I went about making a gold pendant. So I start off with a piece of the Model Magic Clay and I'm going to break off a piece here. And you see me rolling this piece that I broke off into like a small little ball of clay. And then after I finish rolling it in my hands, I'm going to put the same ball, you see right there, <laughs> I'm going to put it in the middle of the button because I don't really want it flat. I want it to have some shade. And just make sure that the piece in the back is closed so that you don't accidentally prick yourself. So after I get the ball, I kind of mold it in my palms until it looks like that. I'm just trying to give it like a dome shape. And so after I'm finished with that, I get another big piece of clay and I'm just, you know, molding it to the button. And this is my taking time. <laughs> so I just use my fingers to smooth out any of the ridges or any kind of lines or bumps I see. And obviously I'm not moving as fast. It's just as fast forward. It's just for time. Yeah, and so I work on that for some time. And then I take off like, you know, the extra pieces that I find in the bag. And just continue to smooth it out. It's not really hard, but it's very tedious. <laughs> Okay, so after that, I I found like a metal tool, like a styling tool that I like to use for my projects, and I'm using it to press into the clay as opposed to tracing. Because when I did this the first time and I tried to draw the actual star, it kind of made extra lines in it that I really didn't want. So yeah, this was a better method for me. And, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't take a lot of time to do this, so I'm still smoothing out the edges and things that I see. But yeah, it will come out much better if you, you know, take time, but there you go, I have my star. So after this, well, the only thing I would do differently this time is I would have let this sit overnight or, you know, just let it dry more because it was still wet when I applied the paint. And so, when I tried to brush on the paint, it didn't really take to the clay that well. So you see me brushing it on, and yeah, it's going to take some time. <laughs> but yeah, I just basically pour some more on and just try my best to fill in all of the spaces. The only thing I would do differently, like I said, would, would be to let it dry overnight. Or at least sit a little bit lo longer. But yeah, I didn't have the time for that, so. So I just paint until it's fully covered. And then I'm going to do this again later on. I'm going to see it repainted a second coating of gold. It's pretty straightforward guys. Alright. So you're going to see in a little while it painted again. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.